Well, Lord, we thank you for the ability we still have to gather. Lord, we, we don't take it for granted. And who knows what tomorrow holds? But, Lord, we know you hold tomorrow. And we are confident in you. Lord, I thank you for fellowship. I thank you for fun times together. I thank you for serious times. I thank you for strategic times. But, Lord, I thank you that you're knitting a body together that has a track record. And, Lord, I thank you for the track record that you've given the saints in, in the past 25 years in New Jersey. Lord, we bless you tonight. We, we are so honored to be called and labeled as one of your sons and daughters. Just take a minute and thank Father. He sent his son so we might be his children. That's amazing. Sons and daughters. Lord, I ask tonight that each one of us would act like a son or daughter that you're proud of. Help us to be obedient. Help us to be faithful. And Lord, when you speak, help us to hear what you're saying to us. Help us to see what you're trying to show us. And Holy Spirit, we honor you now. Jesus said he must come. I've got to go so he can come. And he'll lead you into all truth. We're asking that you would lead us tonight into everything that you have for us. So Holy Spirit, pray for this meeting tonight. Go ahead, pray in the Spirit a little bit. Ask Holy Spirit to pray for this meeting. We bless you tonight, Holy Spirit. We honor you as a third person in the Trinity. We worship you, Lord. Lord, let a new spirit of worship invade us. Tell him he has permission to invade you with a spirit of worship. Lord, that we would worship 24-7, wherever we are, whatever we're doing. Worship would be on our lips. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You know, it may not be the best policy to pray publicly out loud and in the spirit. It may not attract a crowd. It may offend somebody. You know what? We've been saying that for 25 years. And I would rather make sure we invite Holy Spirit. I, I mean, Jesus had a big crowd. And every now and then he got down to 12 and said, you guys going to leave too? Because as he would move into some things of the spirit, some people went, "Woo, what's that? Your prayer language is probably the most poignant weapon that he left here on earth for you. He sent the Holy Spirit to, to anoint your, your tongue, to legislate, to rule and reign, to make decrees and declarations. And when you don't know what to pray, you just say, I say, Holy Spirit, bless my children. And I, I'm going to pray for my children right now. Bless them, whatever they need. And I'll pray in tongues for 10 or 15 minutes. Bless my wife. Bless you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Help us to give all, Lord. Help us not to hold anything back. And bless you, Lord. Oh, I'm the only 
chandiyar ore asho ke me a We worship you Lord we worship you Oh nare venera Puri onda maramado Kure bada bara moko bari ya debi amba bari ambo lo bokuri amara mari kure masandi amara do kuri ambari o kuri ambari ya eri ando ando he arunda mane shora moko presence, Lord. We don't take it for granted. Thank you for communing, fellowshipping with your children. We are about we exalt you, Lord. Ariando la vale ariando re We worship you Lord we honor you Give you all the glory Lord Give you all the glory Lord Shorere le le ma bara God is healing neuropathy right now in somebody's legs. Neuropathy. Shake those legs. Shake those legs. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of infirmity called neuropathy. You affliction, we command you to loose the body of Christ in Jesus name. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for your healing virtue God. Thank you Lord. 
Uh, God is healing sinus headaches right here in the forehead between the eyes. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke allergy that is afflicting with headaches, afflicting with eye uh, dryness and itching. I rebuke you. You get off in the name of Jesus. Do you have a word of knowledge? Word of knowledge? I, I'm also seeing God healing a pain underneath the right shoulder blade, the right shoulder blade underneath of it, like in between your, the front of you and the back of you. I just release right now healing in Jesus' name. Mary, Mary and Carol lay hands on Richard. In Jesus' name, I loose healing into that area of Richard's body. I rebuke infirmity and I command you to go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, I speak to restless leg syndrome, too. I speak to that. And I command you to get off of the body of Christ in this congregation and those that will be watching. You get off. Restless leg syndrome. Get off. Where you're rooted in trauma, I command you to let go in Jesus' name. I feel like I keep seeing uh, like retinal nerve and macular degeneration. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I say, Lord, rebuke you. Every de uh, optic degenerative issue, myopathy, glaucoma, even every form of retinal disease, we say, Lord, rebuke you. Get behind us, Satan. They are the healed of the Lord. Moses lost none of his natural vigor, nor did his eyes grow dim. In Jesus' name. Let's keep singing in the spirit softly because we're drawing on the spirit of God now. The gifts are starting to operate. Let's let's keep worshiping. Sing in the spirit softly. Just see what watch watch what God is gonna do with us. Pon marati den balana na te la tu de ti den balana na marate la tu mo kwane na na de te la ti den pon marati ti I rebuke the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus fear and depression I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus, fear, oppression, confusion, I break your curse and hold over God's people, and I command you to loose them in Jesus' name. I see, a, I see an hourglass. If somebody's got a word that they don't have much longer to live because of sickness and disease, I decree it's turned over. It's turned over. Don't receive any bad report from the doctor. Don't receive it in the name of Jesus. The Lord has been showing me a window frame 
and all the, the pains in, and, and one by one, each pain has been broken out. And the Lord said, have you ever felt like you were just the window standing with each pain, each window of opportunity breaking down right before you? And, and the overwhelming hopelessness that you feel from being in that place. But the Lord said, those smoke screens have been broken off so that you can even see through more clearly. And he said, with them gone, the window is completely open for the wind of my spirit to come in and to blow fresh a new life in you, a new hope, a new frame of reference, a new way of looking at life. So give up that hopelessness, even though you might have seen one thing at a time break down and break out of your life. I tell you this, your frame is still standing and I'm the one holding it up. And so I say to you, let the wind of my spirit come and open you up to new windows of opportunity, clearer vision for your future with hope in Jesus' name. Does anybody have a, a pain in their throat or an illness that they've been suffering from or fighting or battling? I declare and I decree now in Jesus' name that the enemy will not take your voice. He will not hurt your voice, curse your voice in Jesus' name. I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, you have a voice for the Lord God Almighty and you ought to lift your voice and never stop lifting your voice in his worship and honor and praise in Jesus' name. He will not take Take our voice in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Now, when Carol was given the word about a window, I saw windows right here in your stomach area. Some were open a little bit. Some were closed a lot. Just right now, take a moment. Just say, Holy Spirit, open the window in my spirit. So I can feel the breath of God. I can feel the wind of God blowing. I can, I can feel the change coming in my soul realm. Where I am illuminated and activated and alive to the things of your spirit. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. <laughs> 